All right, this video we're going to learn how to manage events or edit events. In the previous video, we set up my new event. So we go to my calendar, manage events. And then on page three, I believe where it's going to be. And we see there it is right there, my new event. Now we could edit it here by simply clicking edit. And let's say we wanted to put uh, eating meeting on Fridays. Fridays. And we could simply save that event and it's done. And we go refresh. And we could click here. And we'll notice it says eating meetings Fridays. Another thing we could have done, which to me is the easier way, because when you set up, if you look at uh, the events, events that aren't running at the exact same time are going to be set up as separate events. You're going to set them up on weekly. So if you have five events, five meetings in one week, they're all the same meeting, you know, the exact same meeting, but one of them, you know, four start at 5 p.m. and one of them starts at 6 p.m., then you're going to actually have to set that up as five separate meetings to get it right because there is no way to set, you know, currently you can set up daily, Monday through Friday, daily, Monday through Sunday, weekly, uh, same day of each month, like a, uh, uh, by date, say like the 25th of each month or the same day of each month, third Sunday of each month or whatever. So you end up having a bunch of meetings with the same name. You know, say you'd have five meetings with the same name. You'd have to pay attention to this side here. Make sure you got the right date, the right time and everything. The easy way, for me anyway, the easy way to do this is just to go find it on the calendar. If you know the date, then it's easy enough to find. You click my new event. You can either edit this particular date for this particular meeting, or you can edit all. If you're logged in to the back end, when you click on this, you're going to get these fields here. Edit this date, edit all, delete this date, delete all. You can edit this date for this particular meeting. It won't affect any of the other ones that are set up on this recurring cycle. Or you can edit all, and what it would do is to take you back here so you can make your edits. Now, personally, you notice how you have to go to hit your hit your back button to go back there. Personally, what I like to do when I edit a meeting is I'll click on this, and then let's say if if let's say I need to change all the occurrences. I don't want to just change this particular occurrence, but I need to change all occurrences. I'll open in a new window this one. It'll bring you to the back end. You can make your changes, then you can save your event. You can, you know, you can make any change you want. You can add information. Uh, you can change if you got it onto the wrong calendar. You can change the calendar. Uh, of course, you can change the date, the time. If you put the wrong location, you can go just select the right location, and that will update update it for all the meetings in that occurrence. Or you could do it on it you know individual meeting this is my preferred method what you know you'll fu you'll figure out what works best for you you can actually delete this particular meeting or if this meeting no longer exists you can go here and you can delete them all in one shot that way you don't have to wade through all the meetings on the back end so to me this is the easier way now one thing you want to do let's say uh let's go to this one Okay, you know you're in July 23rd, you, but the particular meeting you happen to need is actually on July 25th. The easy way to get to July 25th from here, in my opinion, is fast easy. Just click Next Events because you need to change this URL up here. And you'll notice it gives all this here. You got the year, you got the month, and you got the day. We can go to July 25th by simply just changing that, hitting Enter or Refresh. You know, and you'll go to July 25th. You could change the month. 
You know, say it's in what August, September. That'd be the ninth month. On the third day. There we go, September 3rd. Then you go find a meeting, and then you just can edit this date. You can edit all again. You can delete this date, delete all. Now, just keep in mind, you do need to be logged in to the WordPress dashboard in order to have these options here. If you're not logged in, you're not going to see these. And that's really all there is to editing or managing an event. Again, you can do it from the back end. Sometimes that can be a little tricky just because it gets a little confusing sometimes. you got to pay real close attention. To me, doing it from the front end is the easy way.